what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more westworld reactions here back on the channel man i had to go on i hate us for a little bit um this is my first reaction um coming back um i don't know if you guys saw my post where i was telling you guys i wasn't able to fall asleep i was having trouble falling asleep and i don't know why like that has never happened to me before ever like having trouble falling asleep you know what i'm saying it'll happen if it if it had happened in the past um it it would have been because of you know something i did you know what i'm saying like maybe i drank too much coffee or something or had too much caffeine for the day or something that kept me up and i knew that's the reason why in this instance this was happening based on completely oblivious to me so because i'm not a person that you know i don't drink coffee I, I don't do that stuff because i you know i don't want to be addicted to anything i think the only thing that really like i have an addiction with and that is sugar and i and i'm taking my time trying to get off of you know sugar here and there that's why i drink stuff like this which is hint and stuff like that as in you know water with a little hint of a little bit of flavor in there non-gmo all that good stuff um no calories no nothing um because instead of drinking um water i would just drink juice and stuff like that you guys have seen you know maybe reactions on the channel where you see me chugging juice and stuff like that you know what i'm saying drinking juice out of a glass or whatever the situation is um so for me it's like i've always drank a lot of water but i realize that i have an addiction to sugar um you know and i'm borderline diabetic so it's like or probably is diabetic you know what i'm saying <laughs> who the hell you, you know what i'm saying like you know um i've been warned by doctors and stuff like that so i'm trying to get myself off of sugar um i'm sure it didn't have anything to do with that it was just very off for me and very weird because it doesn't happen you know what i'm saying so with it i was up for probably around i want to say probably about 90 hours straight just couldn't fall asleep like trouble falling asleep and i had to still get up and do what i needed to do for the day you know what i'm saying i just couldn't do reactions because at night is when i'm trying to fall asleep so i was like let me you know give my eyes a break from the screens and stuff like that and just try to fall asleep stuff like that eventually everything came back like a couple like a day and a half ago um you know i started to fall asleep again when i lay down so you know no sleep aids no nothing like that the first thing um i want to give a shout out to somebody suggested melatonin and i only had to do i only had to take it one night it's basically a, a very like it's over-the-counter sleeping pills um so it helped me to sleep one night and then the next night i was able to sleep on my own so i, I so everything went well um i don't remember who it was um i'll make sure that i um comment back and tell them thanks uh because i didn't know about it i think i like i think the day after that my mom called me and told me about melatonin she just she just couldn't remember the name of it um but she called me and told me about it and i told her i already went and got it because somebody else told me about it before so um so shout out to that subscriber man really do appreciate it anyways let's get to westworld i'm not gonna waste your time anymore here you guys got an update on what it is you guys don't really watch my intros anyways but if you are watching okay <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right and also guys for everybody that has signed up for um new membership um and stuff like that i really do appreciate you guys for doing that i'm gonna drop more episodes of westworld um on um for early access so look out for those okay it's just that today thank god it's a recording day so i can get back into the swing of things on a recording day a full recording day that i do anyways guys we're gonna continue from here let's jump into it season two episode two let's go Oh, 
All right. So let's talk about these two episodes, man. Episodes two and three, season two. Um, so I'm gonna th- I'm gonna start off with the things that I've noticed that have changed about the series in season two. Um, still enjoyable nonetheless. So I don't want you guys to take this as a negative or a shot at the series. But I realized that um, a lot of the stuff that they're doing now versus what they're what they did before they have kind of like um the flow of the series or the flow of the storylines is a little bit convoluted you you know what i'm saying like not necessarily all over the place but it kind of a lot of the stuff that even what dolores is doing is not really making sense right now you get what i'm saying but i'm guessing they're gonna you know as we go along they're gonna take their time revealing stuff to us um but as i said this it happens at the beginning you know what i'm saying um it's not as good a start as season one so that's what i have to say about that and as i said it's not a knock at the series at this current moment if it continues throughout the whole season then i'll talk about it in the review for the season but as far as i can tell there's a lot more stuff that was more grounded in season one that is not so grounded in season two like certain things that are happening i understand that hale's character is they're trying to make her too i don't want to say too important but too badass when it's absolutely unnecessary for her to be in certain places that she she you're a board member you know what I'm saying? You're not presented as this hardcore person. So I just don't understand. She She's a board member. The only reason why they're doing this is because it's Tessa Thompson. And they want to make her f- feel important <laughs> in the series. You get what I'm saying? Nonetheless, it's nice to see. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But at the same time, story-wise and staying grounded, it just doesn't make sense. That's why I had to stop and talk about it because in normal circumstances that would not happen every other board member super scared we have no history i don't know if she has military background history because that is a possibility that she you know retired from the military and became this you know what i'm saying whatever situation is she's not part of the security team she's not part of what they call them I don't remember what they call them, but they call they have a specific name for the security team that comes in to clean up messes like this, right? So the influence of this company, Delos, I still don't have a grasp. What did that first scene of episode three mean with this girl and the tiger? Is it present day? It seems like it's present day, but what is the purpose of it? You get what I'm saying? They showed that she survived at the end there. But I don't know what that's about. And then you have these um, Indians, right? Because I don't know why we can't call them Indians. It's 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 disrespectful to call them Indians. This world is going to shit, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, it's like it, you gotta call them Native Americans. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, um, it's disrespectful for, to call them Indians because they were the first Americans, but the, it wasn't called America yet. <laughs> so how, what do you call them? You get what I'm trying to say? Like, what do you call them? The no land mans? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, as far as I know, me back in Jamaica, we call them Indians, right? You have the West Indians. You get what I'm saying? That's what, whatever. Let me not harp on that. But anyways, I, I, I'm i not a, a guy that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really harp on PC stuff because it's, in my opinion, most of it is just absolutely terrible and and just uncalled for and 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 just, it's it's stupidity at its best. You know what I'm saying? Like, to, to you know, because there's no, there's, no real logic behind it it's just people are people man you know what i'm saying it's just like me if you i don't want nobody calling me jamaican american like that's it's dumb (laughs) you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day it is what it is right so when it comes on to 
um how the series is going right now i'm digging it you know what i'm saying um it's just like how when i started season one i didn't know what the hell i was watching i was just trying to understand so it's kind of like that process all over again for me and if you are on if if you are going through that in a season two of a show that simple means that they better have a hell of a season because if you're bringing me through that same kind of confusion as to what the goal is in this series right now i mean you can make the argument to say you don't want to see that because right now we should be seeing you know as the, as time progress dear you know she wants to get back to the real world what is this weapon that she wants to go get also she's heading back to sweetwater and all of this other stuff that is going on that we still don't really know what's going on that's why i said the story is kind of convoluted right now because you're because you're like who are we supposed to follow there's you really don't know who to cheer for at this point and that's a good thing you know what i mean um and that's why i said it still remains a great series for me there there's just is some very unexpected things happening at the beginning here of um of the season that i'm not used to i'm not used to seeing this in a season two of a show where you should be building upon what you already have not trying to create new storylines um <clears throat> that has you know what i'm saying that is not really in continuity of what we've already seen you get what i'm saying there is continuity but then there are these introductions of, of these obscure situations that you're like where is this going we know where Maeve is going that's why i'm more in and she's not getting a lot of screen time right now because it's like we see her for like five minutes for an entire episode and then we don't see her again so it's like and i'm more interested in what she's doing than what dolores is doing because as i said dolores is not convincing me as a anti-hero right now and the way how things are being delivered and the story is being delivered they're trying to prop her up as a anti-hero and i think that act in the end at the end of the episode solidify my suspicions that she's not a anti-hero she's a straight up villain in the story because she's like man i've been trying to teach this dude you know what i'm saying teddy's doing the right thing because he's like you're supposed to be trying to save our kind not trying to use them has collateral damage like that's absolutely ridiculous like she's off the hinges just trying I, I don't even know she's trying to get out what are you going to do when you get out to the real world Dolores like what are you going to do because humans don't play those kind of games you said it yourself you know what I'm saying they all about survival they not about to let hosts take over the world the only problem is that they have ways of identifying hosts you know what i'm saying if they get out there and they, the, the thing about it is that they can't die right they can't die which is i'm saying like they can't die like they can't have natural death i should say they can't have a natural death right um they can they, they can't go to no regular doctor for no checkup that's if they need because they don't get sick um so if they're having an electronic problem you're gonna have to build a society outside of what we already have we would have to have things in place for host which is you know what i'm saying there's just so much to consider and as i said during the, the i think it's like episode two i was talking about i was like this could never happen in the real world it's just i just don't see it happening there's too many things and protocols and, and and contingencies that would be put in place for this exact situation we would just emp the hell out of that place and just we done <laughs> just come pick up the pieces come clean this mess up let's start over you know what i'm saying let's keep making these billions you know what i mean so in the context of the show a lot of it makes sense but a, a lot of times it's like really really like it, it, you know it, it, you know they, they they did such a good job in season one that you come that it, they made it believable right because I wasn't saying any of this during during season one but in season two i'm just noticing certain things that it seems like obvious it changed and i think one of, one of the things too about season two is that i miss the presence of anthony hopkins like that shit ca 
carried. He carried season one. Like, I'm not even kidding. Him and um, Fandy Newton, they carried season one. I didn't... Dolores' acting was... Eh, it was meh for me. You know what I'm saying? But she still played a vital role going forward. So now, for her to take the mantle as the main person, it's just... <laughs> As I said, she's not a terrible actress. It's just she just she's not convincing as a MC for me. You know what I'm saying? Like she's just not. But at the same time, I'm still enjoying the show and and that's the point of it. You get what I'm saying? But she's not knocking it out of the park like when Tandy Newton gets in front of the camera and you're watching her, you're like, "Oh my god. She's delivering those lines so powerful, so the way out there, it, it, whatever Dolores' actresses is doing, it just, it feels so, so, um, so robotic, I don't, I didn't mean to be, a, to create that pun, but it just, or maybe that's, in, maybe it's intentional, I don't know, maybe it's intentional, um, it just, it just, when she talks, it just feels, even the emotions, and I'm talking about, like, in season one, she was great, she was great, uh, still not top tier acting, but in season two, it just feels like she's forcing a lot of the lines that she's speaking. So it's not as convincing a, as it used to be. I don't know why. She, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to, uh, guys, and let me say this as a disclaimer I'm not, not enjoying the show, okay? That is not the purpose of me saying this, but I have to say these things. I have to be critical. I have to tell you how I feel about what I'm watching, right? So, um, so far, this season is not living up to the hype. <laughs> I'm just going to say it all right. It's just, it's not hitting yet. So, um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Not that I didn't enjoy those three episodes. I did. It's just that I would like to see more of certain characters, but I'm not... I'm not really getting that. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Now they've introduced some new lady at the beginning at episode three. Like, what's going on on that end? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, there's so much going on already. Why introduce this now into the story? But I guess they're going to make it make sense later. So they've done a lot of this during season one. So I'm not doubting that they're going to bring it around again. Um, so, yeah, man, that's how I feel about you know, watching those two episodes in a row, um, it's, it, the, the series is not like Black Sails for me, I'm just gonna say, it. you know what I'm saying, it's, for Black Sails, I can watch four, I can sit down and watch four episodes, and I don't feel no sort of way, you know what I'm saying, like, I feel, feel great, like, cause I know next episode, it's gonna be a banger, next episode, a banger, next episode, a banger, I gotta sit and wait for Westworld to give me a banger, you get what I'm saying? So I'm giving it time. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying I'm going to drop the series or anything like that. Because as I said, I'm enjoying what's happening. I'm waiting for the storylines to unfold. Like Hale going back to get Habernathy right now. They've had him in possession. Um, I can bet they're probably going to lose him again somehow. You get what I'm saying? Um, but as I said, the, the, the Hale going there did just didn't make sense. Because she didn't guarantee success or not success. You get what I'm saying? Or, or to not have success. It's just, it was just an unnecessary, just because they wanted to give her more screen time, in my opinion, why they had her go there. There was no need for her to go there. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. But anyways, that's just my two piece on that. And I don't usually criticize shows if they're doing great. You guys know this. Like, if it's a, something that's really on my mind and I and I've got to take the time to talk about it I want you guys to know you get what I'm saying so right now Westworld season two three episodes and it's sitting at a at like a six out of ten for me you know what I'm saying but we'll see we'll see how it progresses it might jump back up to ten out of ten but right now because I don't usually rate mid-season but right now is just how I feel through three episodes you know what I'm saying but anyways I know you guys are probably not going to agree with what I have to say, but it, it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. It's just my opinion. Anyways, see you guys next time. Like, um, comment, you know what to do. 
Subscribe if you're new. I'm out, man. Peace. <laughs>